The L.A. Rebellion, a.k.a. the Watts Riots, started in uh, mid-August on a Thursday. And it started out, it, it, it came out of a, a, a traffic altercation uh, somewhere in, uh, well, in Watts. Uh, and geography has shifted over, the naming of geography in L.A. has shifted <laughs> over the last 40 years. But uh, it was, uh, as I recall, televised as a minor news event. But the, the police of chief at that time uh, made a very unwise comment. Uh, and, and roughly paraphrasing what he said, he said, look at them, they're like monkeys in a zoo. And it was incendiary. It, was, uh, it, it set a lot of things off. There had been a lot of uh, mis obvious mistreatment of black people in their communities by the LAPD. So the, uh, uh, the place was tender dry in many ways. It started on that third Thursday, everybody was off by Friday, and, and it got rolling, you know, it, uh, and it spread throughout LA. My grandmother had a place over on uh, 36 in Vermont. My mom was over there, and it was Friday night. She asked me if I would come into the city from Pasadena. And I remember winding down that freeway, that Pasadena freeway. You get to that hill, and you can see that panorama of L.A. This is Friday night. I'm thinking it's still like a, whatever, a, a, a riot. Uh, hey, that looked like something on the History Channel, the Siege of Stalingrad. I mean, there were pyres, of, there were pillars of smoke going up in the air. Definitely a full-scale rebellion. All right, so I had to get my mom, get out of town. <laughs> but there was no out of town. I mean, what people don't perceive is the geographical nature of this thing. And that was that uh, uh, people, black people were, were rebelling in Pasadena, Monrovia, Pacoima, all the outlying areas of LA, around LA. It wasn't just uh, one section of LA per se.